Okay, so we're gonna continue with my dust extraction cyclone. Um, I did make the cyclone part out of um, recycled pallets. Now, what I'm now gonna do is bring it up slightly higher and this one won't have any taper on it. Now, to match that timber, I've got all the stretches off those massive pallets that I've managed to, um, to get hold of through my mate, David Kelly. Jesus, there's a bird in here. Get out, you. Not the time. Not the time to have a bird. There you go. That way. Sorry, bird. Cannot help you while I'm gluing up this. Tipping that's never happened to you, Mr. Shinbine. The bird's still in here, by the way. Dude, can you not see the big door? Look at you. You're going to have a heart attack. Just chill. I've got this leftover circle from that clock you can see up in the corner there uh, from the outside edge. It's just going to sit on the edge. What I'm going to try and do is just hand route out a little recess uh, so this can drop in. Doesn't need to be pretty, just needs to save me making another circle. It's actually been a long time since I made the other parts. I'm now going to make myself a dust bin. I had one pallet pretty much and it's pretty grubby, just a pine pallet, but it is, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to be able to get four staves out of one board. I've set myself up about eight degrees. I've just gone off a stave calculator. This one's pretty straightforward because it's a cylinder. Uh, I'll whip all these pieces through the table saw now, get my angles and we're pretty much ready to glue. Uh, the beauty of this pine pallet is it's it's almost dressed clean, so I didn't have to run it through a thicknesser. Just had to bang the nails out and chop it up. This is be like, have you seen all that contact? Nope. Not in here. Now, I am a bit of a tight ass, right? I mean, obviously I'm making a wooden drum. Anyway, uh, I also buy this blue tape just for painting and the like, but it's not actually very strong for this application. So this contact holds it together because this is quite a bit of a effort to get it round. So this little trick works just nicely. The good thing about these drums compared to the bag is heaps easier to change, so happy to change it more frequently. The bags, you let those go till the end because they're a bit of a pain in the ass every time. So hopefully this will do the job for me. Should we paint it pink? What do you reckon? I need a lid for the top and bottom. I've just chopped up this old um, box from work. It's Again, nice and clean. Well, it's clean fine. It's covered in this black shit, but that'll come off. It was one of these boxes, so happy days. It's the other half.
Okay, all my bits and pieces are underway. I'm just pulling the shop apart and I'm gonna start mounting all this stuff to the wall. Now, the motor's the heavy bastard. So I'm gonna go with some threaded inserts and I'm going to mount this to the wall this way. This little shelf is just to take the weight of the unit so I can hold it up by myself, put the bolts in. Uh, this, this will get screwed to the wall. I'm no engineer, so I'm gonna put in about a thousand screws just to be sure. Alrighty, uh, making a very rudimentary bracket. Uh, basically, it's I've got to have these, this diagonal piece away so that the dust spinny thing can actually move uh, and you can access putting bags on, putting the filter on and off, etc. A quick half lap, a couple of screws and glue is all I need. I'll screw that to the wall, uh, nut the bolt, hold one side of the extractor up. Uh, I've got a 100 mil pipe here, and these are actually the standby. So I've cut these off these T pieces. Uh, this gives me a broader um, diameter here, which works with the hole saw. And then I've slid that over the top because I don't have the right hole saw. That's pretty much the only reason. And then it can just fall through like that and look shit. Pete Egan. So what I've just done is realized I didn't allow for the outside diameter of the hole saw. Jesus. <laughs> is basically just let that seat there, as long as my pipe's running down the middle, I'll seal up around here and that will actually work out nicely. Option three is just wrap a heap of duct tape around until you get the desired diameter. So that didn't take much at all. It plugs in nicely, now I can glue it up with some whatever you want to use contact what is it construction adhesive uh. i'm pretty handy with this eh? Believe it or not, there is a little opportunity to check square. So I'll be down here. Eyeball square, probably good enough on this one. As long as that pipe is pointing near the middle of the cyclone, it's all good. Alrighty, sticker sponsor shout out is Jesper Makes. Now he's an international, he's over in Denmark. And if you love the pallet stuff, you're gonna wanna go and check out his channel. The link is down below. Now, he has sent me four stickers. I'm gonna put three of them up save one for later. Thanks mate. Franken dust. Here's the maiden voyage. I've got it all in position. I've sealed it up as best I can. The suction appears pretty good. Um, you'll notice the bag here. It's almost empty and that's pretty much how it should be until it starts to fill up with the fine dust. And that's the whole point, to separate all the big chips and stop them going into that filter. Um, and you hardly have to take this bag off, which is always a pain in the ass. So now, I simply pull the bin out and I'll go and chuck that somewhere else. That's a cool sign. Uh, I've got some shit on the floor, so let's back in that up. I think we've got success, so 
just very lightweight stuff, which I think that foam was already in the bag anyway. Now, you notice I just sucked up all sorts of things, chips of wood, uh, lightweight screws, etc. Now, normally, they'd find their way into this, um, what are they called? I just had the word, impeller. Um, they normally find their way in there and they ding and bang and smash and you can actually see little dings and all that in all that metal. Now, all that stuff is going straight in there. It's hitting the wood. It's not making a lot of noise, which is pretty cool. But again, only the fine stuff is going up here. So that is a big success. Alrighty. Just a friendly reminder. Take it easy.